welcome to A Little Crazy. This is episode 15 of our little boat restoration on uh, Birchwood Interceptor 22 and we're now back in the boat. Now we've done the windscreen, we've prepared all the roof for the top coat. Those have got to go up onto this helm area here. So I've got to prepare all this before we can do that. So each of these little holes will have to be filled. There's some crazing on the gel coat. Just around there. That's not uh, through um, pressure. That's through heat mainly, where it's crazed up. Not sure why that happens on some uh, gel coat coverings, but uh, I've just got to decide what to do there. So I'm going to try uh, a sand first. Then I'll go down to doing it with the um, grinder. Um, because I've got to get down to where this is not crazed anymore. If it does go right through the gel coat down to the um, fiberglass, then I'll have to take it all back, put another layer of fiberglass on there, gel coat that over again, smooth it all off before we put, start the painting stages. But we've got lots of holes to fill where people have had things, and there's screen holes, there's even a chip out the side there. Um, the sun's in, a, in the way from where I'm filming at the moment, so uh, hopefully you can see that. There's a lot of holes around here. This is where um, trimming panels went and other bits and pieces. Then round into the door hatch. You have the holes there where various screws went in. All those are going to be filled. So we're starting from a fresh canvas and they go all the way round because obviously the trimming went all the way round. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's going to be mainly trembling out these, any spider cracks that I find before getting to the top of the helm area in front of the windscreen to do that. I won't be doing a lot of filming on this because I've uh, filmed me doing this type of thing on other episodes and this is just going to be long and laborious and most of it will be cut down anyway to speed it up film so um, I'll just come back to it when it's done. Okay I'm up on the roof now in the front part of the uh, helm so let's just move this lead out of the way this along here is where the screen goes so the screen's attached here you can see where these holes are cracked all these are going to be filled but on the bottom part right there all the way along is a crack and that's caused like I said in one of the other videos where people are jumping down off locks onto roofs and it's not what they are built for um, and that stress can cause cracks and this has got one all the way along so what we're gonna to have to do is dremel that out so when you do this don't be worried about it let's get a dremel with a tip like this yep. and then just drag it all the way trace it all the way through where the crack goes and that will easily fill with an epoxy mixture <coughs> if you're in America you can get a nice one I'll, uh, to put the name and put it up on site because it comes in a what we would call an ordinary mastic gun um, but over here in England it's uh, like two tubes go in a specialized gun and to be honest they're not brilliant so I will probably just put this mix them make a mix up myself and put it on with a spatula right let's gonna follow this track along If I can just show you that closely. See that, that's where it's going. So just do it like that all the way along. Now there is a site that I watch on YouTube called Boatworks Today. And I suggest that uh, you take a look at his site because when it comes to doing gel coats, he's very, very expert at it. So I always watch his 
programs to learn a bit more because I'm just a DIY, he does it as a profession. Quick look round at this stage. I've filled all the holes. Little scratches. Sanded it down and given it a wash over. There are still places where I've missed or didn't do as well as I could on the first go. Doesn't matter if you go over it again. What you're aiming for is a nice smooth surface. It's a transom end. That was a, a nasty knock out of there. It's all nice and smooth now. Let's take a look up on the boat. Top end. There's places like this, it's quite a big way to build it up a bit more. This one here, all this is nice and smooth. Right through that long spider crack which I showed you earlier. And all the holes on the top field. So once more over with the filler. Sand that down again, and then we get a coat of primer on it, and that will highlight any other little blemishes that we need to sort out. Just gone round with the uh, first coat of undercoat on the top side. Decided to go round the grey as well with the undercoat. It's a blue grey at the moment. Obviously, it's going to be full grey when the top coat goes on. This is really just so that I can see any more imperfections in it and sort those out before the rest of the paint goes on. Bit of a food pile there but it's got to be rubbed down. So another at least three coats of paint to go on there yet. Yeah it's all been rubbed down and uh, sorted out any little imperfections so we want to hurry up and get that on second coat of undercoat onto the first top bit which is this side across the top down the other side like this remember I'm only doing this to get the screen on get the roof on Obviously did first coat of undercoat down on that line as well. Uh, some might be a bit a bit bright in this angle actually. And walk around the other side. Yeah, so again, all needs a nice rub down before the top coats go on. With uh, 320 to 400 grit, wet and dry. And it should come up nice and smooth. Now how far does the paint go? With the top coat, which I've had to mix in with the uh, second coat of undercoat, 750 mils, did this section here, across the top, bearing in mind you've got the cut out for the doorway, and then down the other side, and one coat on that roof, on the second coat, and that's 750 mil. So, if you can imagine, we've got the rest of the boat to do, still the rest of the roof up there to do, just the top coat alone, I reckon we're looking at uh, probably another three to four liters with the undercoat on the um, lower deck here and the deck it will be less probably about two and a half litres this is just on the top coat alone because remember you're mixing one in with the undercoat the last coat and then you're putting two coats of under uh, two coats of top lac over the top of that so we may get away with two and a half um, depending on how 
warm the day is, you can always mix it with 10% uh, thinners. First coat of the uh, top coat, top black plus on the white area. Uh, went on smoothly. It is showing quite a bit of uh, orange peel effect, but I think that's from the uh, undercoat more than that. Perhaps I didn't rub it down enough, I don't know. Um, it will all go down once the other coat or two is on. And then I polish it up. Give it a good sand with a probably a 4000 grit. And then uh, polish it up with the normal polishers. And that's the roof with its first coat as well. This has gone on a lot better. It's probably because the roof is in an ideal position for me to paint. I mean, we're not up on the side of the boat. It was also cooler here because the sun disappeared over the top of the boat and this was quite shaded. So I'm quite pleased with this. There won't be so much after work to do on this one. So we'll leave these now until tomorrow and then uh, get on with the next coat. Besides the top and the roof have now had three coats of uh, top black plus and it's all ready now for going up onto the boat itself. Just got to find some labour now to help me get it up there because it's a lot heavier than what it was when we took it off. It's not going to be so easy so uh, that'll be for the next episode so thanks for watching hope you like and subscribe and continue to follow the episodes on little crazy thank you while i'm waiting for the filler to dry i've just popped over onto the mast taking that all apart giving it a lovely sand down and about six coats of varnish on there now and new mast light on top so that's all ready to go back onto the roof now